Let us look at how to communicate with groups of students in your course and to allow student groups to communicate internally. Once you've created your groups, you can use Brightspace to email any of the groups in one go. To do this, you have two options. Option 1, Groups tool, and Option 2, Email tool. For the first option, go to the Groups tool under the Collaboration tab. Find the group category and the group you wish to email. Check the box next to the group's name and click on the email icon at the top of the menu. A new window will open where you can compose your email. The contacts will appear by default on the BCC field. The reason for this is to protect the identity of the recipients. When using the email tool, option 2, click on the message alerts icon at the top of the navigation bar followed by email. A new window will open where you can compose your email. Select address book and then select your group using the filter by field. Once the group is selected, all the contacts will show up in a table. Select all contacts by checking the first box next to last name, first name, and either click on to, cc, bcc, links to add your group contact to the correspondent recipient fields. The Brightspace group tool also allows students to share files by using a locker, engage in a discussion and upload their assignment to a group assignment folder. Besides sharing documents, the locker function also makes it possible for both instructors and students to email the group members. To do so, go to Groups and select the group for which you have previously set up lockers. Once your group displays, you will find a link to the group files under the locker field. Click on it. You will then find a menu where files can be uploaded as well as a button to email group members. Lastly, you can also use discussion boards. View the page on discussion boards to learn more.